Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Dear friends, welcome back. So, in our previous lecture, we discussed about the conditions for trim, where what should be the delta E deflection in order to achieve a particular angle of attack, right. So, for which we have solved the two equations, the pitching moment equation, which is Cm is equals to Cm naught plus Cm alpha into alpha plus elevator control power Cm delta E times delta E. And then, in general also, the the total lift coefficient of this aircraft or the UAV must be equals to the zero lift coefficient. This is the aerodynamic model that we are considering C L alpha times alpha plus C L delta E times delta E. So, we have modeled the pitching moment as a function of angle of attack and the control surface deflection. Similarly, the total lift coefficient of the UAV as a function of al angle of attack and pitching elevator control surface deflection. So, this we need to be careful here, this C L alpha is for the entire UAV, just to remind you and C L naught is also for the entire UAV, where C L delta E as we know is equals to D, del D C L upon D delta E. So, the change in the lift coefficient of the aircraft due to elevator deflection. That Okay. So, you can closely write this as dou C L upon dou delta I. Right? Okay. Similarly, the C M delta I here, which we have discussed in our previous lecture is the control elevator control power, which is D C M upon D delta E. Okay. Now, what are we going to do in this lecture? We will consider a UAV with, right, with its uh, all the coefficients and the parameters given. And then we will see if you want to trim it at a particular angle of attack, what will be the corresponding delta E trim and what will be the resulting flight velocity and then the thrust required as well as the power required to achieve such flight condition. Right? So, that means, given a UAV, we are now trying to analyze the per performance of the UAV for the level flight, where we will see what should be the power required to fly at different velocities, which results in definitely a particular angle of attack for trim as well as delta E for trim. Right. So, for that uh, let us consider an example consider an UAV with the following data. Where we will just try to note down the parameters where C L naught of the UAV is equals to 0 0.06 and C D naught is 0 0.03 and C M naught is 0 0.01, C L alpha. of the entire UAV is 2.92, C L delta E is 0 0.265 and then C M alpha of this UA, C M alpha is, is minus 0 0.29292. C m alpha and then C m, C m delta E of this UAV is minus 0 0.4, yeah. So, the value of k that can be considered as an input can be figured out from the geometry, right. So, so the UAV is a crop delta. wing alone 
configuration with the root code of point nine meters and tip code of point one five meters and the span of one point five meters. So, with this we will be able to figure out with an Oswald's efficiency of consider otherwise consider E is equals to 0.89. Okay. So, with this we will be able to figure out what is the induced drag correction factor. So, first of all let us complete this question where we need to find out now then find power required thrust required and its variation with angle of attack okay so that's a question we have the we have the data of a uav which is a crop delta reflex wing configuration and we were given about the geometry where it's uh, yeah we have solved uh, this particular example many times in terms of the geometry we we figured out what is the planform area uh, based upon tip chord uh, root chord tip chord yeah but from which you can calculate taper ratio using taper ratio and the span you will be able to and the root chord we will be able to find out the planform reference area and with the help of yeah this data we will be able to figure out what is the uh, aspect ratio and we are given the information about e which is 0.89 oswald's efficiency factor is 0.89 so we can use that to figure out what is the induced drag correction factor k right so why because uh, why do we require k is because we are talking about power required and thrust required so we know power required and thrust required power required for a propeller engine let us say is varies with the uh, uh, factor cl power 3 by 2 by cd right and for thrust required it varies with the factor cl upon cd right so now we need to find out what is the if i have if i trim the aircraft at a given angle of attack what should be the corresponding delta e what will be the resulting velocity and then what should be the cl for that particular alpha and as well as cd from there you can figure out what is the corresponding thrust required and power required. So, let us write down the steps that are required to solve this example. So, steps are, so before getting into the steps let us figure out what is the, what are these non-dimensional parameters right, uh, some of these geometric non-dimensional parameters. So, first we have root chord right and then we have tip chord, the information of span is also given right. so, uh, so, this is the UAV that we are talking about. So, where the root chord is about 0 0.9 meters and the tip chord is about 0.15 meters right and then the span of this uav is about 1.5 meters right so let's quickly figure out what is the taper ratio lambda is ct upon cr so i am intentionally repeating these steps uh, th though we have calculated lambda many times in our previous example but i still want you to get used to this particular parameter which is about 0.167 and then the aspect ratio is b square upon s. So, we need to know what is s here. So, s we can figure it out by b by 2 times c r times 1 plus lambda where b by 2 is 1.5 meters upon 2 times c r is 0 0.9 meters multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.167. So, it turns out to be 0 0.787 meters square. Okay. So, with the help of this uh, yeah, 
planform area, we will be able to figure out the aspect ratio which is 1.5 meter square upon 0.787 which is 2.86 right. So, 2.86 is the aspect ratio. So, with the help of this data, we will be able to find out what is the induced drag correction factor which is 1 upon pi e a r. So, 1 upon pi e is 0.89 which was given and then what is the aspect ratio is 2.86. So, the value turns out to be 0.1 yeah 1.25. You have now k right. So, now we uh, we know what all we require in order to find out what is the power required and thrust required here. So, let us follow the steps here. So, the first step I would like to uh, consider an alpha trim. For trim, right? So you consider alpha trim using our these two equations. So this one, right? So using these two equations, we'll be able to find out what is the corresponding delta E trim, right? How can we do that? So for trim, we know that CM has to be zero. So this we discussed in our previous lecture because yeah. it's a equilibrium condition about which the resultant moment and the forces forces has to balance and the resultant moment is should be 0 there right. So, C m has to be 0 where which is equals to C m naught plus C m alpha times alpha trim. So, when you trim the resultant pitching moment C m is 0 and then the corresponding the corresponding delta E is a delta E trim for that particular flight condition. So, and then the second equation C L turns out to be C L trim which is equals to C L naught plus C L alpha times alpha trim plus C L delta E times delta E trim. So, mm -hmm. if you solve these two equations what we get is so delta E trim is equals to minus C L trim. times uh, C m alpha minus C m naught times C l alpha yeah this should be C m naught times C l alpha and then C l naught times C m alpha this this should be plus when you take it on the other side this becomes C l naught times C m alpha upon what you have is C m delta E times C l alpha minus C L delta E times C M alpha. So, this is the delta E trim if you solve these two equations and then similarly you can solve for alpha trim. So, simply consider the top equation as equation 1 and the bottom one as equation 2. So, if you want to solve for delta E trim and then what you can do is equation 1 multiplied by C L alpha and equation 2 multiplied by C M alpha subtract both the equations. So, when you want to solve for alpha trim, then multiply the equa multiply equation 1 with C L delta E and equation 2 with C M delta E and subtract them right. So, this is simple two equations, two variable problems. So, similarly what we can get is if I have to solve for C L alpha trim, then what I have is C L alpha trim times C M delta E C M delta E minus C m naught C l delta E ok. So, plus plus C l naught times C m delta E upon no, more or less the same denominator what we have is C m alpha times C l delta E minus C m alpha C L alpha times C M delta E. Okay. So, once you know all these parameters, you can get delta E trim directly and alpha trim, which can be used 
to solve a numerical problem. But here we are approaching and uh, we are trying to use an iterative approach. See, we need to find out power required and thrust required for each and every angle of attack, right? So, for that, first of all, let us see before getting into these steps, let us see what is the power required and thrust required for a UAV in the level flight condition. So, we are talking about level flight analysis. Okay. So, the power required is drag or thrust required times velocity. So, thrust required is equals to drag generated by the system times velocity of flight, right. And then similarly, thrust required, let us say when you are talking about and thrust required is equals to drag of the aircraft, which is half rho v square s times C d, right and C d is equals to C d naught plus k C l square using drag polar, right. And then, so value of k we figured it out, the C l value here is C l naught plus C l naught plus C l alpha times alpha plus C l delta e times delta e of the total aircraft, ok. So, now we have to approach this, now what is this C l corresponding so, for example, we are talking about alpha trim and delta E trim. So, when you trim the aircraft at a particular alpha, what you get is delta E trim. So, with that you are trimming this aircraft, you need to generate a trim lift coefficient at that particular flight velocity, right. So, how to figure it out? C L trim. So, we know 2 W upon rho V rho s V infinity square, right. So, you need to know what is the corresponding flight velocity. If you know what is the corresponding flight velocity, you will be able to find out C L trim. Once you know C L trim and yeah, and using C these two equations, you, you can find out what is delta E trim as well as alpha trim by substituting C L trim in this equation with the given data. Once you have alpha trim and delta E trim, you know what is C L trim. So, when you substitute C L trim here, so, what you get is C D naught, a C D for that particular trim condition. So, the C D for that particular trim condition can be figured out, like can be used to figure out what is the drag acting on the system, which we need to satisfy in order to move at this particular velocity v infinity, right. So, if we our engine has to say if you are using a jet engine, it has to produce so much thrust to move forward. Otherwise, when you talk about a propeller aircraft, if you say if you it wants to install a pro, uh, electric brushless motor uh, to propel this with a proper with a, with a propeller combination to propel this air or uh, to make this aircraft move forward then you need to satisfy this power requirement condition for that particular aircraft right which is thrust required times velocity so this is what we are going to solve we'll consider instead of approaching this particular uh, in this particular manner by assuming some velocity what we try to do is, we try to iterate for alpha trim, substituting alpha trim in this equation, what you get is delta E trim, right. Once you have delta E trim, what you can do is, you will be able to find out what is the corresponding, yeah, we, yeah, C L trim and then, so once you have alpha trim, using this particular equation, C M is equal to C M naught plus C M alpha plus C M delta E times delta E you can find out what is delta E trim. Use that delta E trim in this equation to find out what is C L trim. So, use that C L trim, right. So, using that C L trim, you can find out what is the velocity of flight. Do you understand? So, what we are, we are not approaching it the way we solved a numerical problem, rather we are trying to find out what will be the resulting velocity if I have to trim at this particular angle of attack, okay. So, and then with this C L trim, I will be able to find out the drag coefficient and thereby drag which is the thrust required by the system and the power required. So, in this process we will also try to figure out what should be C L power 3 by 2 upon C D as well as what should be C L upon C D okay? and its variation with yeah, angle of attack. So, since we are varying alpha here, alpha is considered as an input variable. So, we will try to find out what is the variation with alpha okay so we need to find out cl power 3 by 2 upon cd and cl by cd variation with alpha right 
So, in order to complete this question, let us consider the following data. So, which you must be having by this time. So, the weight of the let us consider the weight of the UAV as 3.5 kg, right? And at, at the flight is at sea level, flight is at sea level, okay. So, which means you are forcing the density should be 1.225 kg upon meter cube. So, I think you are now by this time you are comfortable with the MATLAB environment. So, we will try since it is an iterative approach we need some program to solve this. Let us build a so small uh, subroutine to help us in solving this example problem. Okay. So, I just opened the editor page where I can start typing my code. So, just before this I will try to write down those steps which we just discussed. So, so let me let us consider page 3. So, step 1, uh, steps otherwise. So, so, the first step we will do what we will do is consider an alpha for trim, which means alpha trim, right. So, use moment equation right C m trim right C m equation to find the corresponding delta E trim ok. So, the third step is find C l trim using alpha trim comma delta E trim in the assumed aerodynamic model. Okay. And then the fourth point the fourth step should be so determine respective flight velocity. So, this should corresponds to V infinity sorry C L trim right is not it. So, the corresponding flight velocity is twice the wing loading upon the density that was the flight density of air at that particular altitude times the C L trim that we have figured out in from step 3. Okay. And then once you have flight velocity then you can and you know what is C L trim. So, also estimate C D for that particular trim C D for the trim right using drag polar. So, what we need to do C D is equals to C D naught plus K times C L trim square. Now, once you know this find the thrust required which is drag acting on the UAV right. So, which is T thrust required or should be drag which is half rho V square. So, V we know it from step step 4 and reference area times C D naught or C D directly right C D we got it from step 5. So, now find C L upon C D and C L power 3 by 2 upon C D. So, this using steps 5 and uh, yeah 3 and 5 okay. and now you can find out what is the power required. 
so the power required is thrust required times v infinity which is drag times v infinity right so now we need to plot this so this is what typically the procedure that we are going to adapt to solve this problem okay so now i quickly try to program this so clear all close all clc so let's first write down the given data so the weight of the aircraft is given as 3.5 kg right so i am trying to multiply this by g okay so i'm this is our weight of the uav okay so i'm i can use g i'm trying to use it as 10 meters per second meter per second square so which is in meter per second square so weight of the uav in newtons right so and then the reference area we just figured it out right you know previous uh, calculations which is 0.787 meter square and then the value of an aspect ratio is equals to b square upon s okay so b where b is 1.5 meter square 1.5 meters is is a wingspan of uav in meters okay in meters so reference plan form area in meter square okay so instead of giving this directly what we can do is we can uh, we can use the data which was given b by 2 times cr times 1 plus lambda okay so this b should be ahead of this because it requires so to compute this uh, equation at uh, row 7 we need to have the information about b okay so from the given data cr root chord is 0.9 meters right this is root chord which is 0.9 in meters and ct is the tip chord which is 0.15 meters in meters so what i find is lambda with this data which is taper ratio or say instead of lambda i'll say tr right taper ratio which is c ct upon cr which is taper ratio say in bracket lambda okay instead of lambda what i'll try to use is t r tr and now so i am in a position to find out the aspect ratio as well here so with and we know what is the oswald's efficiency factor which was given as 0.889 right so this is oswald's efficiency factor and then e is given so i can calculate k which is induced drag correction factor so 1 upon i pi e r okay so this is our oswald's efficient uh, sorry induced drag correction factor so now we need to do iterations right so for example i need to start our step 1 what is our step 1 so this is consider an alpha alpha for trim which is alpha trim so i need to consider this okay so let us say i vary this alpha eoa let's say is a angular of attack okay so i i would like to vary this from okay so this is like point starting with zero angle of attack right 
0 with an increment of 0 0.5 and up to let us assume this linear variation is up to uh, 12 degrees. Okay. So, this is what we are assuming here. What is the meaning of this step? So, the variation. So, let us say this is my variation of lift coefficient C L with angle of attack alpha. right? So, what I am considering here is a linear variation. So, this is typically for this delta wing U A V. I intentionally tried to you know, uh, make this flat. This is what we observed you know, even up to 48 degrees angle of attack. This is how the C L variation for this configuration. So, what I would like to consider is this particular regime which is up to uh, alpha is equals to 12 degrees right is almost linear. So, and also assume C L naught of the configuration is given from the given data we have what is C L naught? C L naught is 0 0.06. Okay. So, C L naught what we have here is 0 0.06. Okay. So, in this particular regime we are using this linear approximation where C L is equals to C L naught plus C L alpha into alpha right C L is equals to C L is C L naught plus C L alpha into alpha and then superimposed by C L delta times delta A. Right. So, this particular A O A from 0 to 12 degrees is linear okay, so that we can use those equations and the step here is 0 0.5 degrees angle of attack that I would like to consider. Okay. So, for these iterations to happen if I have to save the data I am using a variable i starting with 0 right just uh, uh, variable for iterations. So, what I will do is I will try to increment this i during the variation. So, so i is equals to i plus 1. So, the current value of i during the first iteration is 1 right where the angle of attack is starting from 0 degrees. So, now I need to convert this A O A. So, here we consider degrees right, but in mat in MATLAB we may not be able to use degrees as, uh, as such. So, MATLAB do not understand degrees we need to convert it into radians here. So, what I try to do is so alpha right Al yeah. so okay. alpha let it be complete is equals to A O A times A O A times pi by 180 pi by 180 okay. converting degrees to radians. Okay. So, I would like to store this data as well. So, whatever uh, we are going to get I would like to store this data. So, this can be like alpha of i comma 1. So, this will become a column vector is not it. So, I am trying to save this data. Okay. So, alpha is increasing inside the loop that is the reason why it, there is uh, it is highlighted either you can like you can try to assign the size of this alpha before uh, outside this loop itself. So, once we have alpha then we need to find out using the step 2 we need yeah, step 2 we need to use CM equation to find out the corresponding delta A trim right. So, what is that CM equation to find out delta A trim? Okay. So, this C m equation C m trim is equals to 0 right is not it for C m trim is equals to 0 which is C m naught plus C m alpha alpha trim plus C m delta E delta E trim. Okay. Now, substituting this particular alpha trim what we have assumed earlier right. So, substitute that in this particular equation to find out delta E trim which is equals to minus of 
C m naught plus C m alpha times alpha trim upon C m delta e. Substitute this. Okay. Instead of alpha, let us say A o a tree, right? that means we are talking about A o a underscore trim, okay. T r talks about converting trim angle of attack from degrees to radians. Okay. So, once you have this, you we know what is delta E trim. So, say del E underscore trim T r, del E underscore T r is equals to of i comma 1. I am trying to store this value as well. is equals to C minus of minus of C m naught minus no plus C m alpha plus C m underscore A o A otherwise L C m alpha times alpha trim which is A o A T r trim of i comma 1. So, this is a variable here right upon C m underscore del e right. So, what do we what do we require here we need C m naught C m alpha and C m delta i. So, let us give those inputs here. So, let me consider them as so, these are the input geometric parameters. Okay. So, these are input geometric parameters. So, we should also talk about input aerodynamic parameters, aerodynamic parameters, right. So, what we have is C L naught, C L naught is 0 0.06 from the given data and C L underscore A talks about alpha, okay. otherwise A L P H A alpha, C L underscore alpha which is 2.9, which is 2.92 per radian and uh, C L underscore delta E C L delta E is 2 point 0 point 0.2653 6 5 okay. let us round it up to 2 digits here C L delta 2 6 and then C D naught C D naught is equals to 0 0.003. 0 so, this is again from the given data C D naught is 0 C M naught C M alpha and C M delta i. C m naught is 0 0.01 for it is positive for this UAV, right. So, C m alpha C m alpha is minus 0 0.29, okay, and then C m underscore delhi. minus 0.41 C m delta E. So, k is already figured out from here which is 1 upon pi E. So, we can if you want we can shift this to aerodynamic parameters. Okay. 
So, and, and now we are proceeding ahead to figure out buffer requirement and the thrust requirement with the variation with for different trim angular factors, right? Okay. So, C L del E underscore trim, right? Is equals to this, and then now the third step here is find C L trim using alpha trim and delta E trim using the assumed aerodynamic model. Okay. So, C L underscore T R, C L trim again let us store this. C L trim of i comma 1 is equals to uh, C L trim is equals to C L naught plus C L alpha underscore L alpha times alpha trim a o a underscore 3 r of i comma 1 ok. C m alpha sorry C l alpha times alpha trim plus C l underscore del e. So, we have this C m underscore del e. So, let us make this one also capital del e. So, C m del e ok. So, C m C l del e times delta e trim del e let us make this one also Delhi capital underscore T r of i comma 1 ok. One, so, and the third step right now is determine the respective flight velocity. Right. So, we need to find out what is v infinity. So, flight velocity v for this trim condition is equals to square root of twice the wing loading 2 times. So, let us find out the wing loading either. So, w. So, let us say that is a good practice. Let us w underscore s talks about wing loading which is equals to w which is in Newton's here you need to observe that given mass is let us say m is the mass of the aircraft which is given as 3.5 kg. So, it is like given mass of the aircraft. Okay in cage. So, we converted it to weight in Newton's and then now we now changed the wing loading in Newton upon meter square. Okay. So, the same wing loading I am using here the square is divided by uh, density. So, density is equals to 0 point uh, sorry it is at sea level. So, it is 1.225 kg upon meter square. So, density density of air at sea level in kg upon meter cube. Okay. So, we now got the density times C L trim right C L underscore T R of i comma 1. Okay. So, this is in the denominator and this entire thing is inside this square root. You can see once I, once I select the end bracket, so the bracket which is immediate to SQRT is the starting of that bracket. Okay. That means, this entire uh, expression is within this square root. So, after finding velocity we need to find C D that is the step here estimate C D for the trim using drag polar. So, what I can do is C D of i comma 1 is equals to C D naught C D naught plus k 
a times k is the induced drag correction factor which we, which we have figured out earlier right with the given data times C L trim square. So, this drag is corresponds to the trim flight condition. So, comma 1 square. Okay. So, once you know drag you can find out the thrust required T let us say, or say thrust required T r which is half density rho times v infinity square. So, v of i comma 1 square half rho v square times the difference area s half rho v square s times c d c d of i comma 1. So, this will this equation will try to figure out what is the thrust required or the drag acting on the aircraft based upon the flight velocity at that yeah at v v v of that particular i comma 1 corresponds to this particular iteration at this particular angle of attack right. So, initially at 0 alpha what are the what is the corresponding v i and the c d i. So, it should be it should corresponds to this particular angle of attack. So, we are trying to use this indexing c d of i comma 1 okay, and v of i comma 1. So, that we will get the corresponding thrust required for that particular angle of attack and then the power required of i comma 1 is equals to thrust required of i comma 1 times velocity of flight v of i comma 1. So, in the process we can also figure out what is C L to C D C L underscore C D of how L by D is varying right. So, C L underscore C D of I comma 1 which is equals to so C L underscore trim of I comma 1 upon so this is 3 R ok comma 1 upon C D of I comma 1 and C L 3 underscore 2 let us say C L 3 by 2 underscore C D ok. Let us say C L 3 2 talks about C L power 3 by 2 okay. let us assume that let us consider this as the nomenclature. So, I comma 1 is equal for C L power 3 by 2 by C D. C L raised to the power of 3 by 2 upon C D right. So, so this entire variable is I is varying right C L power 3 by 2 by C D with alpha which is equals to again. So, the C L control C C L raised to the power of ok raised to the power of 3 by 2 upon C D ok. So, that is it this is the end of the code we will see whether this code runs or not. So, in order to see this output we need to plot is not it. So, let us start a figure here ok. So, if figure 1 that talks about uh, let us have 6 subplots here ok for all the variables subplot of uh, what are what all we require alpha delta e c d thrust required c l and power required about 6 subplots right. Let me let me make it 8 for that for those other variables as well ok plot. So, what I am trying to plot is on the y on the x axis I would like to plot velocity because that is how we are used right the variation of velocity and the corresponding power required and thrust required and let us uh, adapt to the same convention. So, let I will I will try to plot velocity on the x axis which is v v it will in the corresponding first plot should be. So, the first plot can be from uh, yeah. AOA angle of attack for trim AOA underscore 
str okay comma colon k star okay so this this is for the line that i would like to plot no you can so y label is y label is alpha alpha underscore trim y label ok. So, to first plot we are uh, we have the angle of attack variation with velocity and the second one will be will be about delta E trim right velocity and del E underscore T R right. So, this is delta underscore E underscore trim ok and then the third subplot is about variation of C L trim with alpha C L underscore trim with alpha. So, this I can write C L C underscore L underscore trim. So, let I will not write the complete trim T, T stands for trim here okay. and the fourth plot should be about C D variation with alpha which is C D right. So, this is C underscore D. And the fifth plot should be thrust required T r right T r variation with on y axis we need to talk about T r and its variation with alpha ok. That is a fifth plot. So, the corresponding y label for this is T underscore r thrust required in Newton's again ok. So, the sixth plot is about T L upon C D. Okay, so this is C underscore L divided by C underscore D. C L upon C D. In the seventh subplot is the variation of power required. P R with velocity and and the final plot is about variation of C L underscore three two which is three by two upon C D with alpha. So, what I C underscore L raised to the power of 3 upon 2 okay, divided by C D. Okay. So, in the x label, x label is velocity or say V underscore infinity in meters per second. So, let us just run this code and see. So, you can see C L power 3 by 2 by C D variation with ok. So, 
there are small uh, like sim errors in the symbols, I will just try to correct them here itself. So, Okay. So, can you see the variation here? It is uh, uh, so the alpha trim which we varied from 0 degrees to say yeah, which we varied from 0 degrees to. Uh, so, it is in radians let me just plot it in degrees here. So, delta E and alpha are in radians. So, it is better I convert them to degrees. So, uh, this is multiplied by 180 upon pi. Uh, so, I am just converting from radians to see. So, alpha is varied from 0 to 10 degrees, right? At 0 degrees angle of attack, almost see y is 0 here. So, you need to fly this UAV at say about close to 33 meters per second. So, okay. So, you have to fly this UAV at 33 meters per second because the total lift is depend upon C L naught there in alpha is 0. So, and the corresponding trim delta E is almost close to yeah. okay. So, it is close to minus 1 degrees here. So, trim delta E is and then C L trim. So, at 0 yeah, it is almost 0 0.0.06, which is nothing but C L naught, close C L naught plus C L delta E times delta E here, uh, right. So, this plot typically talks about the performance analysis here for the level flight. So, when I have to trim an aircraft at different angles of attack, what will be the corresponding variation or the thrust requirement? So, when I have to fly at 0 angle of attack, so I need to produce more thrust here, which is 15 in order to produce the same lift I need to fly at higher velocities. When I am trimming it at 12 degrees angle of attack I can fly at low velocities maybe 12 meters per second here close to. So, x is 10.6 or 11 meters per second here and the corresponding power required here is say 47 watts and then the thrust required is about just 4, 4 newtons. You know? So, close to what 0.4 kg 400 grams of thrust is required. Fine, I wish you should uh, repeat this exercise, you should practice this so that you get comfortable as we progress to the other uh, subroutines that we are going to develop. Thank you.